Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Stamp Timber exclusive. This is the Simon Says Stamp and Lawn Fawn exclusive limited edition set for 2022 called Sledding By. And of course, Lawn Fawn is going to give us amazing, cute images that you can use with other Lawn Fawn products you have. I decided to pair the new images with the brand new Peekaboo Pop-Ups die. Um, you want to die cut two of these panels from some smooth white cardstock. From one of the panels, I am going to use the border die included in the set, making sure to have my hill about two and three quarters of an inch high to make room for the pop-up feature. Now you don't have to use white cardstock, you can use colored cardstock if you want, but I'm gonna be adding my own color today with Distress Oxide inks. Using a hillside border stencil taped in place, and I did use my front of the pop-up panel as a guide, I am going to ink above this with tumbled glass and blueprint sketch distress oxide inks. I'm going to blend these together. We're going to leave our hillside border stencil in place so that we can take the brand new snow flurries stencil from Lawn Fawn and snow flurries as well as the other stamped stamps that I am using today are all from the winter and fall release. 2022 from Lawn Fawn. I'm pairing those with the limited edition exclusive and you can see how seamlessly they go together. So the Snow Flurries stencil, I am going to place over my background, again, leaving the stitched hillside in place to protect the bottom part of the card. And I'm going to take the Lawn Fawn Pearl stencil paste. This might be my new favorite. The pearl in it is so pretty, you guys. I am going to apply that through the stencil nice thin even layer scrape the rest off i'm instantly going to close my container and then go wash all of my tools so that the stencil paste doesn't stain them this is going to create the just most beautiful pearlized snowy background now i did take the border that's going to go on the front of my peekaboo pop-up and without re-inking my blending brush i'm going to take a little of that ink and just very very lightly ink that front panel. It's going to add a nice little touch of color. Really quick, I am speeding up the video only for the stamping part, is I am going to take images not only from the limited edition exclusive called Sledding By, but also from the little mini Snow One Like You stamp set. That's going to be the little front facing bear and bunny. And then the Thought Bubble from Ugly and Bright, I'm, I'm actually going to use Greetings from Sledding By on that. All right, I'm going to slow it down just a tiny bit, but I am going to speed up through the coloring and add my coloring with Copic markers. Everything on here was stamped with Hero Arts Intensified Black Ink. It's a great ink for Copic coloring, and I'm not over blending my trees. This tree is from Sledding By, so that's the limited edition exclusive. I do wanna take this moment to remind you, if you want the limited edition exclusive, it's a good idea to buy that um, right away. There is a stamp die combo or just a stamp combo. And the reason I say that is because once this set is gone, it's gone. And you can see how well it pairs with your other Lawn Fawn images. Lawn Fawn is one of the most highly anticipated stamp timber collabs. And so I do anticipate it probably going really quickly, even though uh, Simon Says Stamp tries to uh, anticipate the demand and get plenty of these for everyone. I am coloring everything in with Copic markers. As I mentioned, those colors are listed down in the description below the video here on YouTube, and they're listed underneath the photo over on my blog. You can find my blog by clicking the link in the description as well. Lots of reds and greens. However, we're also going to pull in some really pretty um, aquas and pinks into this fun design. 
When I'm doing a Lawn Fawn card, I find myself generally starting with what I think is going to fit. And this card made a few um, transitions, if you will, uh, during the creation, as I needed to move things around to make the peekaboo pop-up work the best. I knew I wanted the front facing bears, or bear and bunny, pardon me, to be the ones that pop up because I think when it's closed, when the recipient opens the card, it you get this beautiful little scene. And then of course, when you pull it up and the, the bear and bunny pop up, it looks like they're sledding down these hills and then they pop up. Um, that's kind of in my mind. If you've been here a while, you know when I build a scene card, I tell myself a story. And that is the story I told myself when building this particular uh, scene and trying to, you know, make it all work. Now, you would not have to incorporate additional images if you don't want to. I did because I love a super full scene. So not only, uh, this is kind of going back to what I was saying, I had started with the five trees and the three sleds and the critters and the three thought bubbles. And when I get to putting it all together, that's when the holes in the scene really show themselves. And that's where I went back to my Lawn Fawn collection and looked at what I had and pulled some additional images. And we will talk more about that um, once we get everything in place. I am going to show you how to put together the peekaboo pop-up. I think it's absolutely brilliant. If you like interactive cards, Lawn Fawn does amazing interactive cards. This is a great one. I will have more videos here on my channel showing other ideas using Lawn Fawn and other companies with the peekaboo pop-up. It doesn't have to be limited just to Lawn Fawn. Their interactive dies are my absolute favorite. I think they're very useful for us card makers. Um, they are really well thought out and really, really well put together. I definitely thought this card required lots and lots of color. I will have listed out in the description like uh, fox and the colors I used for the fox, hedgehog, uh, mouse, bear, etc. That way it'll make it really easy for you to uh, find the color combinations for each of these. Definitely use your favorite coloring medium. Maybe it's colored pencils, maybe it's zigs or watercolor or whatever the case may be. There's lots of great alcohol ink markers out on the market now like Olo. Um, I believe Altenew has a set of, of alcohol ink markers. You definitely don't have to use exactly what I'm using. I just make sure and include that information down below so it's easy for you. Once we have everything stamped, I do wanna tell you I did use the coordinating dies. Um, throughout the month, I will tell you when I use the coordinating dies that are available um, while supplies last, or if I use my scan and cut because the dies were not available in time for me to do my, my cards and my video. Um, so most of the sets, if not all, will have a coordinating die set. So it's a stamp die combo. The dies are not available individually with the Stamp Timber exclusive. So you can either buy a combo or just the stamp set. Um, and I, again, will just let you know if, if I use the Scan and Cut or not. And it might help you with making a decision if you already own a Scan and Cut, you could buy the stamp set only. I left my Thought Bubbles without any color. I did take a Stardust glitter pen and add some like little glitter to the snow on top of the trees to the pom-poms on the critters hats i i always like adding just a little something you may have noticed i took the dark color of the marker and added stripes or polka dots or something to the accessories i love decorating the accessories it is something I do probably 99% of the time. Um, I like little polka dots. I like little stripes or plaids. Just adds a fun little personalized touch to the images. Now that everything is die cut, I am going to fold my card. On the right side of the card, which is the full panel background, we want to make the mountain. On the left, which is the side that the other score is going to go on, that's how I die cut it, we want to make the valley. And they're going to go together just like this. It is a very simple 
uh, interactive card. Now, before I assemble it, I want to add my greetings and my greetings all come from sledding by and we're going to piece them together. Lawn Fawn does a fantastic job of providing lots of sentiment choices in their stamp sets and this is no exception. I'm going to stamp sledding by to wish you a and then Merry Day goes under it and hope your holiday is lots of fun. It's a really big sentiment and it fills that space very, very nicely. I am using some Simon Says Stamp red tape. It is super sticky, y'all. Very, very sticky, very secure. I want my adhesive to be nice and strong. That was my whole goal here. Um, I am applying it to the tab over on the left, and then I'm doing the same thing over on the right where it's going to go on that right side. I am only going to remove the adhesive from the left side. I am using the tip of my Simon Says Stamp scissors here. These are brand new for the Stamp Timber release. I love them. Just something sharp to help me lift that adhesive off. And then I use my bone folder to just kind of burnish it and make sure it's nice and secure. There are three options for the pop-up. I am using kind of the middle of the road option. You fold those tabs toward you and then on the part of the tab that for this particular one, there's different ones and I definitely direct you to the Lawn Fawn video for more details. I will have a detailed video coming soon. Um, but you only wanna put the adhesive on the tab furthest from the leg. Then I'm going to remove my adhesive and I did use the super strong adhesive again. I wanna make sure this isn't gonna pop off or go anywhere. I am going to open up my peekaboo pop-up and about right underneath that stitching line, I am going to turn over the bar and adhere it in place. Now, before I secure the other side of my peekaboo pop-up, I always double check it. You can see I'm, I'm fiddling with it, I'm playing with it, I'm seeing how it's going to work. Yes, I did have a little uh-oh up there in the top of my card, but I think I'm gonna be able to hide it with my images. Now, I was trying to figure out if maybe I wanted to switch what I was going to put on that tab, but ultimately I decided the front-facing bear and bunny is definitely going on there. The leg is much longer than what you probably will need, I like to leave it long, put my image in place, and then you can very easily cut away anything hanging off the top. I kind of leave it there for a minute, make sure that I um, like how my card's looking, and then I can cut away any of that excess. I think this is gonna work. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and start adhering things. I would recommend um, with this interactive card, and maybe any interactive card, to use an adhesive that you think you can get off in case you have to move something. The little uh-oh at the top of my card was because I thought I was real smart and I should go ahead and use liquid glue and that was a mistake. So I think if you're working with the interactive element, maybe don't use liquid glue because it's really hard to remove. I'm also going to place the trio of critters sledding right there kind of along the top edge of my greeting and I'm only going to put the adhesive on the bottom part that goes over that hill in the front and I think that's going to be really cute. We of course have our pop-up those are already there and then I think our fox if I close the card it looks cute in about that position. There's a lot of opening and closing my card. I have not secured the other side yet. I really wanna make sure that I have a, at least a bit of an idea where things are gonna go before I secure that other side. And then if the, I've got things like trees, that are also gonna hang off that front portion. Those we wanna secure with some tape, something that can be removed because I did move that guy around a little bit. And then we can adhere, everything in the background is going to be adhered with liquid glue. I did put liquid glue on this tree and it was again, dumb because it did not wanna stay put. We're gonna clamp it. Um, everything in the background, once I'm secure with where it's gonna go, I am adhering it with liquid glue. The reason being, our peekaboo pop-up, I don't want it to catch on those images more than it might already. So you don't want anything dimensional in the back that that peekaboo pop-up will catch on. 
So you may notice as I'm adhering things, I'm pressing it down. Do I do that normally? No. Um, so I am really pressing. I'm making sure that bottom edge especially is nice and flat um, so that it eliminates that when our pop-up comes flying up, it doesn't catch. Lots of little thought bubbles. I kind of just want them out and around, like they're coming from the trees or it's echo echoing off of the mountain or whatever the case may be. I did end up moving one of those, but I will do that here in a minute. Let's move, remove the other side of the tape and secure our peekaboo pop-up. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's looking so cute. I do think I'm gonna just switch the thought bubbles really fast so that the one is gonna kind of be hidden in the crease when this closes. I might have to trim it down just a tiny little bit to make it fit, but that's okay. Now this is all of the original images. Do you see that big open space down along the left-hand side and along the bottom of the card? I feel like it needs something. Now I forgot to film it, so I'm sorry, but I did take another brand new Lawn Fawn Fall and, and Winter 2022 set called Snowball Fight. It's adorable little mice. And I added those along the bottom edge. I stamped them right on my peekaboo pop-up. I flattened it out. I placed it in my Misty with the nice heavy magnets and I stamped the mice throwing the snowballs, the stack of snowballs, and the other mouse forming the snowballs. And I think that that is just going to round out the critter scene perfectly. When the card is closed, you don't see the mouse throwing the snowballs, and you only see the guy down there along the bottom, but when you open it, you can see the full scene. Why did I stamp them directly on the card? I did that, I wouldn't have had to do that for the ones underneath the greeting, but over there where there's the crease, if you tried to put the die cut image right on that crease, either one of them, the snowball or the mouse throwing it, it is not going to fold nicely. So I decided instead of trying to put additional layers on and make it work or move the mouse to somewhere that I didn't want him, I really wanted him in this position, I am, was just going to stamp them right on that front. And when it shuts, you can't see it. When it, you open it, you can. And it just eliminates those extra layers. So sometimes that works really, really well. I was able to stamp this without any mess up. I will tell you, I held my breath just a little bit because <laughs> I was so afraid that I was going to mess up that whole front panel and have to redo it. But the Misty made it a breeze. We will color these just like we colored the rest of the images, just pulling some of that color down and add the detail to their, their scarves and hats. In the peekaboo pop-up, pop there is a wonderful stitched rectangle. I did die cut this from Lawn Fawn Blue Jay cardstock. It fits right on the back of the card. Because this isn't a traditional card, this provides a great place for the, recip or for the sender to write a message to the recipient. I decided to take from that little mini Snow One Like You stamp set, the critter that pops up, I'm going to stamp their Snow One Like You on the back. I think it ties in really nicely. It's the same kind of font as the font in our Sledding By Exclusive Limited Edition. Because it's a dark cardstock, I stamped and embossed this with white embossing powder. I did use a powder tool. Once I've embossed this, I need to uh, buff that away to clean up the back. And then we're just going to adhere that right to the back of the card. Look at that, perfect. Now, when this is folded shut, it fits in an A2 size envelope perfectly. How cute is this? The final thing I'm going to do is on either side of Merry Day, you guys guessed it. Oh, what was I doing with the snowflake? Uh, I'm going to add some little hearts. I felt like we needed a little embellishment. And of course, you know, my go-to is a little heart of some kind, especially a little red heart. That is it, you guys. So we've got some nice textured snow in the background. We've got our darling little scene that pops up with our sledders popping up there. Great stamp set and a perfect addition to your Lawn Fawn collection. Thank you so much for joining me today for the Stamp Timber 2022 limited edition exclusive from Simon Says Stamp and Lawn Fawn called Sledding By. The supplies I used to create my card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. 
Here is another video featuring Stamp Timber limited edition exclusives that you might be interested in. I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to my Patreon members. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. If you would like to become a member of Patreon, please click the link in the description below. We would love to see you over there as part of our growing community. We do a lot of fun things each month and I'm excited to celebrate my one year anniversary in October. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel click that like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new card making video. Thank you so much for joining me today, and we'll see you again next time. Bye!